Toi, tu comptes? Un... Four-year-old Elena has been diagnosed with autism. It's a situation that more and more parents, like Chloe and Marianne, are finding themselves in. According to the few studies carried out in France, the prevalence of autism in children has tripled in 10 years and now affects 1% of the population. The surge of this neurodevelopmental disorder can be partly explained by more awareness and screening, and it tends to run in families. But genetic testing doesn't always provide the answers parents are looking for. We've done all the genetic testing and found nothing. We'd like to know the cause. It wouldn't do us much good, but we'd like to understand where it came from. There's no cure because it's not a disease. But yes, living with it on a daily basis is hard, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's what prompted the family to volunteer for a study, the Marianne cohort. Scientists point out that it's impossible for our genes to evolve in such a short space of time. What has changed, however, is our environment. La génétique intervient. Genetics plays a role, of course, but not on its own. It comes into play in association with our environments in the broadest sense of the term. In the United States, we see a link in case control studies between exposure to pollution, in particular proximity to oil wells and exposure to fine particles, and a higher prevalence of autism in children living near these areas. A correlation, yes, but neuroscience has yet to demonstrate a causal link between environmental factors and autism. That's where the Marianne cohort comes in. The first study of its kind in Europe is tracking 1,700 children over a decade, from a few months before their birth and throughout early childhood. Our exposure to chemicals has increased a hundredfold over the last 50 years. We're exposed to chemicals on a daily basis through a variety of routes, such as the skin, with, for example, skin care products, the shower gel you may have used this morning, or via food, like by eating vegetables that contain pesticides. On va chercher le coca, coca, et après on va chercher pizza. À l'heure de l'inflation. It's difficult for most French households to pay for organic food, especially with inflation. I feel like I don't eat very well. It's often snacks or ready-made supermarket meals. It's a struggle between I risk having a child who suffers from autism if I don't eat organic, but at the same time, you can't afford it. And that's the dilemma we find ourselves in. <laughs> Pesticides and pollution that threaten not just our bodies, but also our brains. This is an alarming prospect, this researcher says, because our post-industrial economy is based on our cognitive abilities. We need people's minds to be functional, and so people's inner selves have become a public health issue. Whereas polluting used to be bad because it destroyed nature, now polluting hurts us. The beach is a great resource for many people. I think it's a universal need to be in natural places, and we're lucky to have big beaches here. Chloe had to stop work to look after her daughter. Elena isn't getting the help and services she needs, like 80% of autistic children in France, according to the country's Autism Information Service. The special needs state schools are oversubscribed, and on Marianne's modest salary, a private school is out of reach. 
but the family can still treat themselves with a day out to the nearby beach. She can be herself here. She doesn't like to walk in the street because it scares her. But she can run around for hours in wide open spaces like this. It really calms her down. She's eating sand. Doesn't matter. She's happy. That's all that matters.